what a cheap spot to get 72 hour emergency kit on a budget let's check it out everything you need bandages gauze start to grab some liquid skin medical tape medication antibiotic cream everything I'll show you everything we end up getting great emergency kit products Gatorade Powerade a couple different kinds they do sell Pedialyte here too for hydration you have several lighting options <clears throat> glow sticks every different kind there's even other stuff flashlights they sell the batteries here I got plenty of flashlights though but you can get one for a dollar all different kinds oh yeah you know they got them here I like the shrimp. A regular food storage, but there is plenty of snacks and stuff that you could throw into any kit. And they're all only a dollar. They even have some paracord up in here. And people dropping everything. Believe it or not, the granola bars are actually okay. Still have some extra Pop Tarts. I do have regular food stores. So I'm not going to be putting that kind of stuff. And I did a video before on it too. All the different stuff that's cheap and easy to start stocking up on. But uh, that won't be part of the 72 hour kit necessarily. I mean we definitely are going to put something in there. But I already have that kind of in a separate package. So this is pretty much just contents to help you get through an emergency. I did get batteries and pads also so far. One of the flashlights. Running low on batteries so. You can get them here cheap and garbage bags you know i gotta get some more garbage bags there's always a million uses for garbage bags i don't know about you guys i wouldn't be at work but an energy drink when you need to stay up for a dollar i mean and they got all the waters different flavors juices anything you can store that you might think you might need for like a maybe 72 hour kit, emergency kit, natural disaster, anything, something extra on hand. A couple more of these never hurt. And if you don't have a blade, you can always get a cheaper one to Dollar Tree for a dollar. Scissors, ooh, like kitchen scissors and stuff. They work for a lot of things. And if you don't want toilet paper, these things do stack a little bit easier than toilet paper. Baby wipes. If you can use them or like to. <laughs> Look at that. 24 hours. And it's that much. Something to cook on. It's, everything's out. It's like the sterno idea. Fancy heat. And if you need somewhere to store your stuff, I use big totes myself usually, but they're small ones. If you just want something for a 72 hour kit. Something small up to the side. They got it for a dollar. For a dollar. Okay. Well, the hand center guys are already pulled out. Let's throw that up there. I keep one of them on me just about all the time. And the sodas don't count. But they get more energy drinks. <laughs> sodas don't count, of course not. I mean, you can store them. It's up to you. I got toilet paper. So that. Feminine hygiene pack. Uh, yeah, it's necessity. If the stores are all closed, kids are gonna need something if nothing else. They get more C batteries. So I have a ton of um, double A's and triple A's. Two packs of lighters. Got one, another one of those. These things I buy like all the time, but they work great. No problem with them. This was uh, non-stick pads. Yes, I like that. I think I just had a. Uh, waterproof tape, medical tape, that works. Cotton balls, I like these for fire starters, so I always end up getting them when I'm here. You can always break them down. They have Ziploc bags in there too. I did not buy more candles today. Actually, the other day I bought those emergency candles. They're like, I think nine, nine hour candles or something. Oh, garbage bags, always get garbage bags. Store stuff, makes life easy. Every once in a while, grab some of these electrolytes 
TV Shore soap, even though I did get the um, hand sanitizer. Extra pies of soap never hurt nobody. Let me see what else we got in here. Vaseline goes good with the cotton balls for my fire starters. They're cheap. They even have these little masks in here. Uh, it's a 10 count. I mean, for a dollar? Why not? This would be rolled gauze. Yes, rolled gauze. Gentle tape. You know, for the little children's. They always have band-aids over there. Got another thing of hydrogen peroxide. That's always good. I do like keeping these in case, just in case, anti-diarrhea tablets. I thought this was pretty cool in there. I like this, this liquid skin. Not bad. Anyways, and another bandage. And I do believe that's everything we got. So for... I don't even know what there was there 20 bucks or something i wasn't even paying attention <laughs> i didn't even i just handed a lady money but on a budget that's enough stuff <clears throat> now if you threw in some of the granola bars and uh maybe some waters or something like that and you'd have a, a medical kit well, there's some electrolytes there medical kit <laughs> a way to wipe if you needed one garbage bags take care of the trash several uses on the garbage bags but for the price you can't beat it right at the dollar tree i mean guys it's budget you could get five dollars uh this week and five dollars next week or whatever you know five dollars worth of stuff uh, or you could really stock up you could go get like um, five boxes of these and then you can go get five of these on the next check and you could get five you know it, it doesn't matter how you do it it's always good to have a little something extra so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe have a great day so what I mainly end up doing with uh, all my Dollar Tree stuff <laughs> is we usually end up putting, uh, everybody's kind of got their own pack. So they've got their own stuff that they can move around with that they can use in case of any type of emergency that they need to. So I'll go do a little haul like this and grab a little bit of everything and whoever ended up using all their band-aids with their boo-boos or whatever, anybody who ended up needing to uh, use an ace bandage out of it or someone might have busted into their pads or something because I didn't get to the store quick enough for whatever their use is we end up I'll take this back and then we'll end up putting it you know a little bit in one of the kids packs a little bit maybe in something off the side for the wife whatever whatever it may be it's just the simple fact of if you could do this once a month or once a week or whatever I mean you'll be so stocked up on stuff that and then that you know it's so cheap. I mean, it's only a dollar. It's a dollar for everything. Uh, it's cheap. And it gets them everything that they would probably need over a short period of time in an emergency. So, the snacks. Yeah, we didn't get any. We didn't get any ibuprofen. Not today. But we, we get this kind of stuff like all the time. So, this is just something a little extra showing you that for a couple bucks you can easily get something for an emergency. I know everybody usually has extra toilet paper but you can get four rolls of some cheap stuff but either way you look at it might as well grab it you can never go wrong with toilet paper too many girls in the house run out of it all the time so overall it's a nice place to get some budget emergency equipment not always the highest quality but you can get it at a budget price so there's I mean, no reason not to have something. Uh, a lot of times I do buy, I don't, I don't think I got them there, but when I did this video yesterday, but a lot of times I'll buy uh, candles too. The candles are always nice to have, you know, every candle in a room can heat it up in one degree an hour or something. I mean, it's just one more thing. It does suck the oxygen and everything, but it's just one more thing for lighting. Um, there's plenty of different stuff in there that you can do that's I mean it's budget it can't can't beat the price for the most part a dollar for everything at the Dollar Tree you can I mean you can buy better lighters probably uh, like a big everybody said oh, I'll get a big lighter or oh, I could get a Zippo lighter if you don't have a budget for it though two for a dollar they even have cheaper ones that are like five for a dollar not quite as 
even good a quality as like those two scripto letters or whatever they were but uh yeah so there's plenty of things that you can buy right at the dollar tree that would help an emergency situation um I d i've done another video i could probably put a link up to it uh down in the description but there's besides just the budget um uh emergent emergency kit stuff you could also do the uh food and the food storage so there's there's a lot of things i mean for a buck can you really beat it for a dollar for a dollar one stinking dollar even if you got and i said it in other videos even if you only got three dollars five dollars per paycheck but if that's all you're making you should just make more money <laughs> just do something get a little side hustle do something so uh thanks for watching again uh leave your comments down in the description i like hearing what other people do where other people go um yeah let me know so have a good day thanks for watching